Hey guys, hey, it's Mr. Linda here. Um, today we're going to go over lattice multiplication. What it is, is we're going to do two digit by two digit, but we're going to do it in a totally different way than standard. Um, most of your parents may not have done this or may not even have ever seen this way, but it is a, definitely a unique way and I find that students like to do it. So before I start, um, first thing I'd like to do is introduce what a box looks like. So in the box, you're going to have, it looks like a diagonal through it. Now in the top part will be the tens digit. So if, if, it, if the number is 45, four would go up here. And then in the bottom is the ones. So same thing on uh, the number 45, the five would go here. So that's the, you have to remember that to solve all of these problems. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over a couple examples and we're gonna check it out. So first we have 25 times 36. And if you have 25 times 36, you count the number of digits in both together and there's four. So I need to make a box that shows four little boxes like that. So then I need to add in what I call the slides. And I'll start, I'll do this for you on paper in the beginning and then when you get good, you'll make your own. So all I do is I draw a diagonal from corner to corner and down a little bit more, corner to corner, corner to corner and down a little bit more, and corner to corner and down a little bit more. Now, first things first, you need to draw what we're multiplying. On the top is 25, so I'm gonna put a two right here and a five right here. And then down the right-hand side, I'm gonna put 36, I'm gonna put a three on the top and a six on the bottom. So now, that is what our multiplication problem will look like. So somewhere up here should be like a multiplication problem sign that'll just, you just know that we multiply now. Now, how you multiply these out is you go, you start with the three over here, and you multiply it by the five up here. And basically, they go in the box right to the left and uh, below them. So three times five equals 15. So one will go here, and a five will go here. Now we move over to the next spot, and we have three. And then we multiply it by the two up here, so three times two. And there is nothing in the tens place, but there's six ones, so the answer is six. Now, we move to the bottom row, and we have to do this 6 right here and a 5 up here. 6 times 5, there's 3 tens, and there's 0 ones. Our answer is 30. And then finally, we go 6 times 2, and that's 12. 1 go in the tens place, 2 goes in the ones. So now, we filled out our answers. That's everything we need to start adding up. Now, here's the, com the confusing part. I'm going to highlight these or go over them with blue. These are what I call the slides. In between each slide, you need to add up the numbers. So this bottom one in the far right down here to zero, there's nothing else to add with it. The last and the last number in the answer is zero. Now in between these, the next two slides is the five, three, and the two. You add those together. So five plus three is eight, plus two is 10. Put down a zero, you carry a one to the next area where the slides are. So now you go one plus one is two plus six, is eight plus seven is nine. And there is your answer. If you go 25 times 36, your answer should be three or 900. So just to check it, doing uh, another way, the standard way that the, uh, maybe your parents may know. And if you add those together, the answer is 900. You can see there and right here is your answer. They, they match. Okay, let's try another one. So first off, draw in your box. Corner to corner, corner to corner, corner to corner. You'll see that I like to switch colors when I teach this so everybody can see what's going on. What we're multiplying, 28 times 53. Now let's multiply in the boxes. So we start with 5 times 8, and that's 40. 
then 5 times 2 is 10. Then go to the bottom, 3 times 8 is 24. Then 3 times 2 is 6. Now, add them going diagonal. So there's a 4 right here. Then 0 plus 2 plus 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. And then 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. And then 1. So 28 50, times 53 is 1,484. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's give another example. Maybe you want to try this one on your own. You can pause it, give it a go. Well, we have 64 times 61. So I drew, there were four digits, so I drew a four box. Okay, and I'm going to put on the top six and four for 64. And then on the right side, six and one for 61. Now I'm going to multiply them out. Six times four is 24. 6 times 6 is 36. Then 1 times 4 is 4. And 1 times 6 is 6. Now you also have to be very neat while you're doing this, or you may mess up just writing them down. So be very careful when you're writing these down. So we have 4 right here. 4 plus 6 is 10. Carried over to the next slide. 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. And 3 plus 0 is 3. So 3,904 is 64 times 61. Okay, so that was a few different examples. We're going to go over quite a bit more, but uh, if you need more help, rewind it, give them a try. Um, I will definitely have one for class for you tomorrow. Okay, guys, talk to you later.